Hey guys, Ashton here, back with Hollow Knight, and today we are going to continue with the main story. And before that, we are going to do those two things that we mentioned: uh, go back to the blacksmith and visit this area right here. So, in the last episode, uh, uh, we took care of uh, the uh, some of the whispering trees or the whispering roots and some warrior gravestones, and we got a lot of essence. We have about 680 or 6 how much do we have let's see uh 675 so we need 25 more for the next uh reward from this year so we will see what uh, uh we can do with that may not not saying in this episode but maybe sometime later and uh, one more thing is i forgot to mention is that when you get the dream nail there is a small chance that after killing an enemy you will get an essence so that is a really uh, good thing it's it's a very rare chance it, it's a very rare drop but yeah we can get that good to know and let's first pay a visit to our blacksmith so the first time we upgraded our nail he asked us for 250 geo and uh, now we need pale ore and some more geo so uh i just got hit no worries kill yourself thank you so what i'm going to do is uh i think he takes he asks for 800 geo I'm really sorry I don't remember correctly but I am I I I I know this much that he asks for an amount less than 1000 geo I am pretty sure it's 800 so what I'm going to do is sell one of the uh, wandering wanderers journal for 200 so, so that I will have enough geo to uh, actually get my nail upgraded So making our way past these long halls, these flies are so annoying and uh, let's make our way down carefully. Let's sell one of these, we'll have 924. So now we have a lot of geo remaining in our banks, so we'll keep that. So what we are going to do is go to the left. No. I was actually very uh, uh, worried that whether the last episode that I recorded uh, had any audio or not because of the mistake I made la before that. But yeah, thankfully it got recorded properly and it was good to know. So, taking care of these knights. Stop headbutting me, thank you. So actually, there's a small shortcut to the blacksmith now that we have the crystal dash. If you want to skip these enemies, so you can actually go here. You can actually climb that wall later, not now. You will have another ability. But uh, for now, if we go here and dash, we can reach this platform with just by completely bypassing the enemies so that's what we are going to do and mr uh, blacksmith we have payload and yes i was correct he asked for 800 so please upgrade our nail thank you so much boom garadel akari So now we have a much more upgraded or much more better nail. 
let's test it out these guys take two hits still but let's try it on stronger enemies these these guys were taking four hits but now three hits so that is that is a good upgrade so let's make our way back to the stack station i am going to meet you guys just out just uh uh, please let me walk peacefully yep I'm going to meet you guys just outside the stack station so here we are guys back in the stack station and as you guys remember here we opened the stack station in King station and we are going to go there now King Station. So we have saved our game here, and there are some few enemies here. But what we can do is first let's go to the left. We can go to the top and to the bottom. But uh, I'm just telling you, it leads to the same place. It's just a very long hallway, as you can see. This is the bottom path, and that was the top path. So let's take care of these enemies. As you can see, very strong. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we got some essence. We actually got an essence by killing that giant enemy or by killing the other one I'm not sure so here here there are few things that we can do if you want to kill them you can it's very dangerous and they take a lot of hits if you want geo it's a very good idea to farm them so let's start from the left here I mean right for that let's climb that is a place we can go this is something we can open with a simple lock but we are not going to use it right now. we need the other simple lock for something uh, for uh, for a different place this is where we can enter and as you can see there are many enemies here let's heal and here actually you can jump and move forward and here you can see there's a shining uh, this shining aristocrat and as you can see I'm getting soul by dream nail and as you can dream nail any enemy and get soul and you can hear their thoughts you are beautiful I am beautiful so we can actually kill her and she drops a lot of geo that's come on come on yeah that's 420 geo right there so a good thing also we can go to this platform right here and here we have a guard uh, guarding a God. so yeah this can be a bit difficult so what you can do is if you are not feeling confident you can of course heal but if you are not feeling confident for some reason you can kill the G or kill the or you can free the grub first and then fight him because even if you die the grub that you saved will actually return to grub father so that's uh, 
that's a strategy you can uh, you can uh, use if you want to so now we are done with most of the places here i'm just getting hit by these things now we can go to the bottom and to the top so let's go to the top first So here as you can see where we have some lifts that go up and if we try to go up here we can see huge area this is just the other lift coming into the same area and we can't really reach that ledge so this is another one of those places that uh, we can uh, we, we need to jump higher and there is a speedrun tactic to it that uh, people use. I used it myself in my own speedrun and uh, it is actually bouncing off this uh, object right here, the one that is behind me. So it can be a bit tricky but it's something, it works something like this. So you can act actually skip the complete uh, uh, ability that actually enables you to jump higher. But we are not going to do that. We are going to use a use the correct fashion or the normal fashion in order to fight and reach places. So that we will discuss. If I if I ever make a speed run guide, uh, I will discuss that then. So here there are some enemies, and if you can recognize this place. This is the statue where we f uh, found Hornet again and she asked us to seek the Grave in Ash. So we actually connected that area with this area. And the symbolism of this door is that, uh, and this sign is that this, uh, the, this uh, statue actually uh, separates the uh, normal citizens or the normal or lower class or middle class people with the higher class people so th th this area as you can see it's really beautiful padded and uh, very as aesthetically pleasing but uh, th that is actually a barrier or that is actually a, the uh, hierarchy is present so that is what it symbolizes So now we can go down, there is also a place to go to the right that we will go to a later episode, not right now, but we can go down here, let's do that. Here we have some enemies, taken care of in two hits now. Now we can drop down here. Yeah, it, it, it is a bit dangerous. As you can see, there are many spikes. And we have reached the bottom. As, and as you can see, this area is looking very dreadful. We can go to the left. But we are not going to go to the left right now. It is a new place that we will visit later. For now. We uh, will just do one thing over here that will help us and that is we have a dream tree here. So it will help us collect our uh, uh, 700 essence that we require. I am not really sure if we will get 700 here or not but I mean this will actually reduce the amount we needed. How like however uh, like how much ever we get from uh, this place. This is going to be helpful. So this can be a bit tricky. You actually need to wall jump properly or 
uh, pogo of the spikes. This can be tricky. Please don't mind me uh, doing keep. Oh no. You can actually do this. It's I am thankful that I have Oh I, I, I as you can see I did that. Um it, it's actually a great thing that I have a uh, grub song on me right now. Really helping me build up the soul. Oh, and I, I almost had it there. No, no, no. So I'm going to cut out the rest and I'll show you the successful attempt. Such is life guys, such is life. Uh, I am actually taking a very risky part and yes, I am not going to recommend you to take that uh, spirit tree right now when we don't have the ability to double jump. But I am going to do that and uh, yeah, I will meet you guys again. So as you can see, I've made it. Didn't take uh, too many attempts in the sec in the next half, in the next uh, uh, run actually. And we can carefully collect. Oh no no! We can carefully collect our essence here. No, don't not like that, but. That actually places us in at a very nice place. Uh, yeah, not like that, but we have some take care of this enemy who is in our way and yes here we get 700 essence no 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 don't fall down oh my god I have 
I have never been sloppy or ever. Like this is not uh, like now I feel that my the first few episodes I was much better than this. And boom. That should be all. And we are going to go down that path later. Now what I'm going to do is return back to King Station and we, we can go to resting grounds. So let's return back to resting grounds. So now we are going to go talk with the uh, seer. Let's see what she has in store for us. That we now that we have 700 essence. I think the next uh, goal is 900 if I'm not wrong. And we get a vessel fragment. And that actually is the second vessel fragment we uh, can get. Fills us the second one. And now we need 900 for the next uh, objective. So now let's make our way back to King Station again. Because we are going to enter a new area. Let's sit here on the bench. It's very fun to bounce off these shields or the heads of the enemies. Very fun. Let's go back here to the left. They don't even know that I'm bouncing um, on them. Very funny. But now, over here, if you guys remember, there was this another toll kind of uh, or a booth. Here, we can use the simple key that we got. And this will lead us to a new area, the Royal Waterways. So I'm not going to complete Royal Waterways in this episode. It is a big, big, big area. It will take two episodes at least. But we can make it so that we uh, get to our bench and then we proceed a bit forward. Here you can see these are new enemies. If you hit them once, they will actually become these jumping enemies. Here there is a bat. And as you can see, this is the uh, sign of a bench. So let's go get our bench first. As you can see, here we can go down. Let's go get our bench. And here we can see rest. The bench is a bit tilted, but yeah. That's what the bench is. Now. Uh, let's first make our way towards the map. So the map is towards this uh, road or this route. We, if we get the map, it will be really helpful because this area can be really confusing. And I was talking about, if you remember, I was talking about going over here. We'll do that. We'll do, we'll do that pretty soon. It is a very helpful uh, uh, gauntlet. I mean, it's a really helpful item or uh, ability that we are going to get oh, when we pass that. But here we have these enemies. Here there is a broken wall. And there is a grub. 
and here we have this new kind of enemies who actually uh, when they get hit or when they hit us they become these puffer like puffer fish kind of uh, insects if you would call them whenever they're scared they get excited like this and first let's make our way to this place Here you can see there is another rancid egg and you can hear this uh, dreadful sound coming up that is actually coming from the top and as you can see that is another kind of enemy so we can make our way to the left and here we have this new enemy one shot but they follow you relentlessly it's very they are very dangerous but here we get a mass shard we have two mass shards right now and whenever we get the third one we can go and collect the other the last one from conifer or i mean from sly so here i'm going to do something pretty uh, like sequence kind of a sequence break i hope it works no it didn't work okay never mind my chance of being cool actually ruined got ruined so let's go from the top at from the normal path no 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 making our way to the top here you can see if you didn't notice there is paper in the background that means conifer is close and here we have this new kind of enemy you kill them once they will get split into two parts and both the parts will come alive so it's a very dangerous enemy wait for the other two halves to actually come to life here moving forward as you can see paper this is just below the area where we found conifer i mean the mass shard we are going to find conifer that is what i'm trying to say as you can see lots of paper and there are some enemies to the top taking care of these many rancid rancid eggs in this general area because that worked out perfectly because that actually killed the uh bug over there and this is actually connected to we took the bottom first path first but this actually connected to this area so now that we have cleared it so some soul now that now that we got two vessel fragments we vessels we we have um, access to more soul and as you can hear cornif i actually went back cornif is pretty close and there are actually many of these uh upper fish enemies and as you can hear battle music is going on So there are some. There, this is the last one, and I think that should be the last. And yes. So here, if we hit this, this opens this door, and we'll go there uh, in a bit. But let's first talk to our dear conductor. 
thank you so much for your map <laughs> and actually this area chocolate kebek this and this area is actually connected to the fungal wastes that's a really unexpected connection but then when you look at the map you'll realize that the royal water waste is connected directly to the fungal wastes so that's a really good thing so now this is where the bench was i'm going to make my way back there and uh do we have time enough for the next episode not that much but let's make our way back there and uh, i think no nah, i think uh, we'll end it here because uh, we have already reached 35 minutes of recording and i'll cut out some of the part as you can see my epic failure at the for to collect the essence but that's all right we entered this new area and yeah this is the bench is over here and yeah uh, that's it for this episode we uh, upgraded our uh, nail we uh, got some uh, uh, rewards from the seer and uh, what else did we do we we opened opened the way back to uh, fungal wastes and yeah that's it in the next episode we are going to uh, discover uh, uh, the completion of uh, uh, the royal waterways we are going to complete it and then we will see where uh, everything leads us leads to and yeah that's it for this episode uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying and uh, i'll see you guys next time bye